everybody, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark, and in this tutorial, we are going to explain CV, otherwise known as control voltage, and all the mysteries it contains. So just a quick side note before we get into it, the piece playing in the background was actually made using CV. So you can start creating your own masterpiece. Let's get into it. CV has been around since the 1960s. It's not within the scope of this tutorial to cover all the history behind it, but suffice it to say, it is actually very interesting. I recommend checking out Wikipedia to read up on it. The next question, what is it good for? Everything. If there's a knob that can be turned, a button that can be pressed or triggered, a sample to be altered, a parameter of some kind to be affected, the odds of being able to use CV to change that parameter are very high. Here we have a visual representation of a CV sine wave. The sine wave has a positive and a negative peak. Don't worry about what that plus one minus one means right now. All you need to worry about is knowing the top of it is a plus one, the bottom of it is a minus one. The rest of it will start to make sense as we go along. So here we are in Reason and I have a Maelstrom routed to two Scope Juniors and if you look at mod A, I've got mod A running into the first scope junior. It's a sine wave. I've labeled it the pitch CV because it's controlling the pitch. Then if you look at modulator B, I have it as a square wave and it is controlling the gate. The top is a plus one, the bottom is the minus one. You can see it running to gate on the back of the maelstrom. So when you turn this on, the square wave controls the gate, sine controls the pitch. Here's what it sounds like. So I know what you're thinking. That's uh, pretty amazing. I can't wait to do it myself. And so the point here isn't that this is an amazing sound. It's the principle. The idea that you can take this on off and you can plug it into something else or you can uh, use to trigger a sample or you can use it to trigger a frequency sweep for a wobble bass. Uh, or you can literally program an entire drum beat it, through clever use of CV. And on the next video, that's something we are going to touch on. Thank you for taking the time to listen today, and we'll see you next time.